Jamal, when they, uh, when they made that 27-2 run in the first quarter, it seemed like you guys were fueling their break a little bit with some of the turnovers, but also just missing shots. How, how much do you kind of attribute to you guys not executing your offense at the standard you needed to versus sort of just missing stuff that you feel like you can make in game uh, seven? Yeah, I mean, we know we're going to miss to make shots. I felt like we generated, especially in the first half, we generated some, some really good looks, you know, me, even myself, but um, I think it's just both ends. You know, I think, uh, you know, from speaking from experience, game six, it's always the hardest. Um, everybody that's, you know, that team is gearing up to not get eliminated and they bring that right energy and um, they came to play today. So, um, you know, just like how they punked us in game two, we punked them game three and four. Yeah, they, they punked us again in game six. So um, now I've, all that's behind us and it's just come down to one game. Jam Jamal, can you pinpoint, can you pinpoint, you know, where this kind of, went off the rails for you guys. I mean, I know you guys started 9-2 and then you gave up a run immediately there. Um, but was there a certain point where it went off the rails or, you know, was it just one of those things, one, one of those games for you guys? I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'll have to go back and rewatch it, man. Um, but I think it was 9-2 for us to start the quarter. You know, we came out, we came out right. And then, uh, uh, you know, they, they fired back and uh, we never responded. So, um, I would say I would say there probably in the first quarter. Um, even though we knew that we could cut the lead, uh, we didn't do anything about it or change anything. And uh, not game plan wise, but energy and, and discipline wise, we didn't change anything to shift the the momentum in our favor. How difficult did Anthony Edwards make it for you when he was checking you? I mean, who? For me? Ant yeah. For me? Yeah. For you? I mean, it was less about. It was more about my my. Elbow at that point, you know, every time, even some passes, you know, I, my arm, uh, but he, it was more offensively for him. It wasn't him guarding me. It was, he was, he was scoring on the other end, um, and scoring at a, at a great rate. And then on top of that, you know, um, uh, Mike Conley, you know, uh, McDaniels had a great game. You know, I think everybody, everybody on their team kind of just brought the, Brought the brought, brought their game today, you know, and um, we weren't able to defend them and and uh, keep them out of pain or, or get them off the line. So, um, so yeah, we just got to be better. We got to be better. Jamal, you mentioned your elbow. That happened pretty early, like man, first second play of the game. So, how I guess challenging was that? And then you had it iced at the end of the game. And so, what's your concern level going into Sunday? Uh, I'm just, you know, we got two days off, and you know, I didn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's all behind us now. You know, I just got to get ready and be able to be better for Sunday. You know, um, yeah, we just got to be better for Sunday, man. Jamal, you're the defending champs. You were never pushed to the brink last year. What is your kind of thoughts on a game seven? You've seen to relish in those kind of moments as you think about it now. I mean, that's why we fought for home court. You know, we were down 0-2 in the series, and um, we won three games straight. We know that they're going to respond eventually, and they did tonight. And uh, we didn't we didn't hit back. We didn't do anything about it. It's it kind of simple as that. So, um, you know, it's nice that we'll get to regroup, and and at least we've given ourselves a chance to to win the game on um, on Sunday. So, you know, we'll, we'll use the home court, home court uh, advantage to our advantage and, uh, you know, try to try to keep this thing going. Jamal, it seems that blowouts don't really carry over and mean anything in the next game. So what's the level of confidence this team has that at Game 7 you'll be able to approach that with a fresh new vision? I think they carry over even more. You know, I think, you know, when you get beat like we did in Game 2, we, we carry that over um, and, and respond in the right way. And then when we beat them, they responded, and they responded in a big way. So I think I think uh, it's all about the mindset. You know, now all that's behind us. All, the, all those games that we're talking about, it's all behind us. And... Now it's just Sunday. You know who wins, who wins those forty-eight minutes, and um, and how are we going to do that? Jamal, what do you want to see your team do when you guys aren't making shots? Like, what do you need to get gotta to? Gotta defend. You just gotta be more physical. You know, um, uh, on our spots. You know, early help. You know, uh, r rotating, communicating. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, we every game during the season. You're gonna you're gonna struggle offensively, you know. Um, but can you stop the other team from scoring when you're when you're doing so? So I think um, that's our biggest challenge, man. It's just it's just getting stops and and and, and runouts um, and just playing with playing at our pace that we want to play at, you know. So 
Um, like I said, they had it today. You know, I won't take no credit from Minnesota. They they came to play. They brought they brought that energy and they used the home crowd to their advantage. They sh they all shot. Felt like they all shot well. Um, so, like I said, all that's behind us. Just gotta get ready for Sunday. Jamal, real quick, was with that play with the elbow. Was that you like hitting the screen or was it a landing? Uh, uh, it was a screen. Okay. And it, did it feel better throughout the course of the game, at least, or was it pretty no. much there? <laughs> Clearly not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I put some like numbing cream on it just so I didn't have to feel it every time I extended. Sure. But like I said, man, everybody gets hurt. Ant just got hurt sure. game playing. So it was, it, was, it was just the fact that I was shooting the ball, and you know that's what I do most. So I was never really into get into my rhythm again, and my team obviously needed me to tonight, and I didn't. So uh, it's disappoint I'm disappointed in myself for not being able to give them the right – uh, production that I know I can so does it feel like the kind of stinger that just with the two days off you feel like you can get over I mean I hope yeah. <laughs> I hope for my for our team's sake <laughs> I hope for my team's sake that I can get it right so Jamal how are you gonna be preparing how are you gonna be spending the next three days and you think you guys will be watching these games or just forget about them and kind of start with the blank slate so to speak and you no, we gotta like watch it gotta watch the games gotta you know own it we, we know we didn't play our best but um you know that's a sneak peek of what we're gonna get sunday right so i think everybody's being locked in and and just only the, the negativity man like we we played terrible i played terrible uh, on it and let's use that to to you know come out in front of our home uh, home fans and um, and and, and play the right way. So we're gonna learn from that film for sure and, and be better. Is there gonna be pressure or? We gotta go. Thanks, Jamal. Appreciate you. No, no pressure, man. We're just it's it comes down to one game and who's gonna play better that day. Thanks, Jamal. Yeah.